I am Nicola Madora and in my work throughout many years I have seen people longing so deeply to be more connected to themselves, to each other, to nature because so most people experience an underlying sense of suffering of isolation, disconnection, lack of love and a sense of not knowing why they're actually here. So there is there's some very simple ways how you can be more connected in your life, in your office, with people and with nature. And there's four elements that I want to show you right now that you can practice right away. And one of them is, and this is why we are in nature, is to be more grounded. Because if nobody if you're not home in your body, then really there is nobody there and you you cannot feel connected. So it starts back with our body, our house we live in. And the simple way what you can do is to start breathing into your nose, really deeply breathe into your belly and breathe out through your mouth. And just do this three times wherever you are. Breathe in through the nose, really deeply into the belly and breathe out through your mouth. And the next thing you do is feel your feet on the ground. Most of the time we live in our heads and therefore we cannot experience connection and therefore we often experience anxiety. So when you connect more, just feel your feet, just when, you, when you're listening to me, just feel your feet, wiggle your little toe and your big toe and, and say hello to your sweet feet that carry you around for such a long time already. And let yourself notice how the ground holds you. The earth always holds you. That's what gives you stability when difficulties happen. And you just take refuge in that. The other thing, if, even if you sit on a chair, you can just feel, l let your weight drop into the chair and notice how it holds you. This sense of being held is what we need in order to have a sense of safety and security and stability. So the other piece is, of course, is presence. Without being really present, you cannot re really relate to anybody. So often we hang out in our minds going into the future and in the past or we are checked out somewhere in some other universe. <laughs> and when you actually allow yourself to become present every moment, that's when you experience a deep connectedness. So it goes like this, just notice around you the colors that you see. Notice around you the sounds that you can hear. Notice around you what else is here than just your mind. And it can be the smells. So the entrance is through the senses, through our living experience. And just, just focus on that for a moment. And already you might notice that your mind becomes more still. There's more practices for being present, but that's one of them that really helps. The other piece is get curious of what's here. So right now I'm noticing there's people coming by for our shoot and Michael, my friend who's filming me, is getting concerned about that because they're talking really loud. But we just include them right now. So being curious about what's happening around you and avoiding the resistance, oh, this shouldn't be happening, is actually, you do the opposite, you embrace what's around you. You embrace what's here. It doesn't mean you, you like it or you agree upon, but you embrace it. And then you get curious. Oh, what else is here? Yeah, so you notice that you become bigger and wider and more open. So. I'm also noticing how these people are looking right now at what we're doing. <laughs> and hi. 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 <laughs> and all I'm doing is just including them in our in in this moment. And there is no struggle with it. So that allows us to be less stressed in our life. Then there is the piece that brings you back into your heart. And 
you can start with just remembering something that's good. Something that's really you have experienced in the past or you take it right into this moment. Again, this is the most powerful way of noticing what's good in this moment. And for me right now, what's good is that my friend is really there with me and filming me. And what's good is that I get to help other people. And so what I experience is my heart starts opening. To, my heart is getting softer and warmer. When you let yourself remember what's good or just noticing in the present moment what's here that's good, even the tiniest little bit, and let yourself feel it, that's the key. Allow yourself to feel it. That will open your heart and allows you to feel warmer and more loving and therefore more connected. Lastly, because we're dealing so much with our minds these days, because this is a society that's based on mental chatter and thinking, see what it's like to let your mind drop backwards. I know this sounds funny, but notice what, what it might be like to let your mind drop back into the sky. You might experience a moment of stillness. And in that moment of stillness, you actually feel more connected with life. So, presence, curiosity, groundedness in your body, inclus including what is here, and the goodness in your heart, and letting the mind drop into stillness, allows you to feel more connected with yourself, with others, and of course with nature. And therefore you have way more life juice available, way more joy and truly love. Thank you.